In this video, I want to talk about one man in the WWE world, wrestling world. Most kids looked up to him in the 90s because his smart ass mouth, funny jokes, and straight comments. No, kids, I'm not talking about John fucking Cena. I'm talking about The Rock, the ex people champ, the ex pie eating, jabroni beating. I'm not about to do that la 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 bullshit. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. The sellout. That's right. I fucking said it. The sellout. The Rock is a straight up pussy ass sellout. Yeah, he might have muscles, but I can kick his fucking ass. I can make his make him cry. And this video I want to talk about this with The Rock. Rock, you had great family members who wrestled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock, he didn't last that fucking long. <laughs> oh, Monka, he lasted a minute until he died. The Uso sucks. But anyway, back to The Rock. <laughs> Rock, as Samoan heritage, you are, and I'm half Samoan. My thing is this you fought years in WWE with no problem. Then when you get to Hollywood, it's this and that. And it's like people don't realize this, but Rock actually had a big ass impact on wrestling. And when he left, it's like bullshit happening in WWE slash WW fucking elf. Uh, and it was like, dude, this shit became kids' lives now. It's not as good as it was because The Rock had a big-ass part of that. You know, he left quick. I mean, he could have did movies and still rouse at the same time, like great people like Randy Orton. And I hate to say this, John Cena. He could have did that, but no, he wanted to hop Janice ship. Now, not only you left for wrestling to be destroyed completely after your de departure, or he departed, uh, I don't know why I keep talking like I'm talking to the fucking rock out of his fucking departure. But you will suck ass, you fucking sellout. Damn. Now it's like, nigga, you're half black, half Samoan. There is no Caucasian in you. Sorry if I offend anybody by saying Caucasian. There's no white in you. Therefore, all these movies you're doing, all your family members are white. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, look it up. And every fucking movie he play in. His family have to be white. Why? Because they have an issue with black people. Which I kind of have an issue with black people too. But that's my own personal reason. And it's not all black people. It's certain people that make us look bad. He have a problem with black people. But you're half black. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, dude, not only you're showing a little prejudice against your own half of your race, but dude, you're showing that you're a sellout. Because anytime they put you with a black family, you tell them, no, give me a white person. Change it to white. Like, what the fuck, dude? But anyway, that's why I say he sucks ass. Then he pops up in wrestling every 10, 5 years and think people are supposed to respect him the same way. Honestly, I see why people end up turning to John Cena. John Cena got jokes and shit. He made comments. He did a couple of his movies. Some of them sucked ass. But he stayed and it's not because he need money. John Cena has a lot of money to tell you the truth. But and I'm not even a John Cena fucking fan. But anyway, this video I just wanted to talk about how The Rock sold out and suck ass. A lot of people might get mad at this comment. Oh well. Hell. But anyway, I love for y'all to leave your opinions and uh hope you like like or dislike, I don't know. And uh please subscribe.